Hello everyone, welcome to another quick episode of Spice Vader today. Just wanted to get back to some 1080p 760M testing. Now somebody had asked if I could hook it up to an external monitor and I thought, hey, that's a great idea. So here we have the uh, external monitor, kind of quick little desk setup here. Just hooked it up to a USB hub, got a keyboard and mouse. And we're gonna test some games. This is just a 1080p 60 Dell monitor. His last test we did 720p. So we'll step it up and see how it does with that kind of gaming. And just as a reminder, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 7640U. That's six cores, 12 threads. And we're running 32 gigs of DDR5 5600. This has Radeon 760M graphics, and in the BIOS, I've allocated four gigs of RAM towards that, so that's why we'll only see 27.7 gigs available for system memory. All right, we're in GTA 5. Show you the settings. We got 1080p, uh, and we're gonna go with FXA on, MSA2, X2, VSync off, population density, all these cranked, and then we're gonna go with high settings, all the way down. Okay, so GPU's at 32 watts. And we're getting about 40 FPS with these high settings here. We got about 35 FPS. It's raining right now. It's a little better in the tunnel, but once we get out in the rain, the FPS drops a little more, so. 1080 is a little rough for this. And we're ha at about 81 degrees Celsius. The fans are running pretty loud right now. You might be able to drop the settings a little bit and get a little better FPS out of it. Now let's do that GTA 5 test again with HyperRx on. So HyperRx is kind of similar to NVIDIA's uh, frame generation technology, and it's available on these 7000 series CPUs. And let's see if we could do 1080p with uh, higher than 60 FPS at the same settings. So here we are back in GTA with HyperRx enabled. And it looks like the frame rate's still about the same. I guess it's a little bit higher. It's about 40, but still 36, it's still raining. And that seems to just about do it for this. It doesn't seem like it can handle it. Now maybe the uh, HyperRx needs the resolution set lower and then it upscales it to 1080p, so maybe I read that wrong. Okay, same exact settings except 720p with HyperRx on. Yeah, we can see it's a lot smoother. And now we're over 60. And do things look upscaled? I don't know, I can't really tell. At this low of a graphical setting, it kind of looks the same, but. So I just went back to the AMD settings and switched HyperRx off. And it looks like it's the same in GTA 5 as far as the FPS goes. Maybe even slightly higher. So I would say that Maybe this game isn't a great example for what uh, HyperRx can do. Let me try another one. I also noticed too when I started up HyperRx, it gave me this little window that showed me which games it actually affected. So it's kind of a your mileage may vary setting. So we have Modern Warfare 2 campaign. We'll balance preset. We'll apply that and then we'll turn VSync off and dynamic resolution off. So let's try this out, see how this looks, bring up our overlay. And this is at 1080p. So you can see the message here, Radeon super resolution is not active. So this is running at 1080p native and we're getting about 50, 55 FPS with this setting. It doesn't look super great because you know, balanced is a pretty low preset. But let's switch it over and turn on the HyperRx mode. Okay, now we've switched over and switched it to 720p. 
And you can see the FPS now is steadily over 60. And this is upscaled, I guess, but it doesn't really look like it. Okay, it doesn't look great. It's very grainy here. Yeah, so HyperRx at 1080p doesn't really do much for it. It's still only about 75, 80 FPS at 720p here. I mean, you get 70, 80, but it definitely doesn't look, you know, raising the resolution to 1080p looks a lot better than 720p with its HyperRx upscaling or whatever it's all doing. Super resolution, fancy stuff, frame generation, all kinds of stuff it's doing at once, but, you know, again, taper your expectations of a 760M. Let's take a look at Doom Eternal. So we got 1080 here. You can see the built-in thing is showing about 65 FPS in the menu. Uh, let's see. Ultra settings. We're going aggressive today. Yes! Yes! <laughs> just wanted to beat that guy. Anyway, looks like we're dipping under uh, 60, so you're gonna need DLSS or, not DLSS, you're gonna need resolution scaling or to drop the settings. So here we are at high. And that's eh, still, high and ultra really don't have a lot of difference to them. It's only about 50, 52. So that really didn't change much. Let's do native, and again, we're at high settings. Native and high settings. So let's try that out with HyperRx on. Okay, so about 60 FPS, still below 60, 50 to 60 here. Still not that great, even with HyperRx enabled. Now we could maybe do something like 1600 by 900. Yeah, looking this way, it doesn't quite hit 60. So if you want to get over 60, let's drop it down to 1366 by 768. Okay, well that's HyperRx on the on Doom Eternal. All right, Forza Horizon 5, let's jump into it. Oh, I got V-Sync on, so let's go unlocked. FSR 2.2 quality. Uh, we got the settings set to 1080p. Wow, this is pretty good. Wow, this is really good. This game is optimized well. GPU temps are up there a little bit, but, uh, but yeah, it's holding pretty close to 60. It feels really smooth, real good. But the worst spot for FPS seems to be in this little horizon staging area. So the fact that it's still holding 60 around here is really good. All right, we've got Shadow the Tomb Raider here. Let's set the, check the settings. We've got 1080p, performance uh, XESS, since this doesn't support DLSS and there's no FSR in here. And we have it set to low. To low. So yeah, this is about 50 FPS, 45 to 50. At 1080, low with XESS on. So it works, just not the greatest. FPS here, you'd have to go probably back down to 720 to get 60 FPS. All right, let's jump into Just Cause 4. We got everything set to 1080p, anisotropic set to 16x, 
and anti-aliasing and FXA, and then most things at medium. Let's jump into the gameplay. Yeah, this game kind of gives you no options, really. But yeah, about 35 to 40 FPS average at 1080p. So not super great. Terribly unoptimized. I still like playing it. I'm probably going to be pulling this game soon, though, from my tests. I have a couple more tests I want to do with this game in it, so... Um, it's probably not everyone's favorite. I like it, though. Definitely have to drop the resolution down. There's no other way about it. There's no resolution scaling, so that's the only way you can change your resolution. Just lower it. Just kind of endless waiting with Halo Infinite. 1080p. Uh, we try to set it to a minimum frame rate of 60. Whether or not it does it, who knows. Uh, custom settings, this is what I used last time. Kind of a high, medium, low mix. It's really kind of all over. And we get about 50, 40 FPS. The game handles movement really well. And this ain't too bad. All right, we've got PAL World loaded up. I set it to very low, but then change it to custom to turn V-Sync off, set it to 1080p, and then change the max FPS to no limit and turn motion blur off. It's probably not going to help it. It's probably not even going to hit 60, but... 1080p, don't let me be. If you like 30 FPS, it'll do that. So yeah, let's take a look over the world here. Mmm, down in the 20s now. Yep, you'll want to either drop the resolution or run an external GPU. So yeah, there you go. That's PAL World. All right, so the last thing I wanted to do um, was test some emulation. I'd like to do some Nintendo Switch, but I'm gonna split that off into a separate video, so check for that. So I'm gonna do most of the emulation here, Check another video for the Switch emulation, just in case that gets taken down by the Nintendo Ninjas, since they like to do that now, now that Yuzu is a dead emulator. So may it rest in peace. Anyway, let's uh, go try out some emulation, see how that goes. All right, here's some Semu. Simu, Simu. Uh, we're trying out Breath of the Wild here. Simu emulation Wii U is just really advanced at this point. This is, I wouldn't say as bad as um, a Steam Deck, because the Steam Deck's a little worse. But you could basically lock a Steam Deck to around 40 FPS in this game. And this one is about 50 FPS is where you could lock it here. Look it up into the sky, you get 60. <laughs> Thanks, Link. I am really liking this BSP D8 controller, by the way. It does Xbox 360 controller emulation, or Xbox One wireless emulation, I should say. It's fabulous. So yeah, this will do at least Wii U emulation pretty well. It's 
it's pretty good. I upscaled this to two and a half X. So it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Yes, yes, yes. All right, God of War 2, let's check it out. I forgot how to play this level. There we go. Yes. Yeah, no problem with emulation. This works really well. Nice! Well, I'm getting destroyed here. So anyway, yes, that works. So PCSX2, good. It worked good. Okay, so we got 2X resolution scaling, and that's pretty much the only setting you can do. So let's start Halo 2. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 okay. Wow, 60 FPS. Did they fix the floor? Completely missing. Like, look at this. What is this? What am I supposed to do with that? Terrible. But when it's running, it actually runs pretty smooth, even at 2x, you know, resolution scaling. Looks pretty crisp for the textures that did load. Okay, and I'm dead already, so that's enough of that. All right, well, there you have it. That is the 1080p gaming tests on the Framework 13 AMD with the 7640U and AMD 760M uh, Ryzen graphics. And some emulation tests as well. I will have more uh, with the Switch emulation tests, so look for that link at the top right of your screen. And I might make that an unlisted video just to kind of cut down on the chance that Nintendo Ninjas take it down. Um, but in any case, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, leave those down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And just let me know how uh, you like these videos. And if you have any comments or any ideas that uh, you want me to try on things. So anyway, have a great week. Take care. God bless.